Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today I'm going to talk about zero one knapsack problem in top-down dynamic programming. In another video, I already discussed how to solve zero one knapsack problem in bottom-up approach. In this video, we're going to talk about top-down approach. In top-down dynamic programming, we solve a question recursively and then we apply memoization in overlapping subproblem where repetition of work is happening. In zero one knapsack problem, we have certain items and then we have values and weights of those items and then we have a total weight. Our aim is to pick items from this set such that the sum of their values is maximum while sum of their weights is less than or equal to total weight. Also, we have just one quantity of every item. The way this algorithm works is you try to get the maximum value by either picking the item or not picking the item. When you pick an item, the value you get is value of an item plus whatever value you can get from the remaining item and remaining weight. Or you don't pick an item and then you get uh, the value from remaining item and current weight. So in the next section, let's see how this algorithm works. Here I'm going to apply a very simple formula of getting a maximum value of either picking the item or not picking the item. Also we have this map for memoization purpose where the key of the map is remaining weight and remaining count of the items and the value is the maximum value we can get for that key. So here we're going to start with total weight 8 and all the four items are available at this point of time. On the left, on the left branch we are going to pick the item and on the right branch we are not going to pick the item. So on the left side we pick item A. So when we pick item A, the weight of A is 2. So I'm left with 8 minus 2, only 6 weight. And items B, C, and D. Again on the left, I'm going to pick the item. So uh, the weight, so we're going to pick item B. So weight of item B is 2. And my remaining weight is 6, so I'm going to be left with weight 4 and CD. Again on the left, I'm going to pick the item. So weight of C is 4, and I'm left with 4. So subtracting 4 from 4 leaves me 0 weight and item D. If my remaining weight is 0, we cannot pick item D, so this is going to return 0. So if we picked C, the best we can get is 0 plus the value of C which is 6. And let's see what happens if we don't pick C and our weight is 4. So if we don't pick C we are left with the same weight and we are left with item D. Again weight of D is 5 which is greater than 4 so D cannot be picked. So this returns 0. So here you can see when we picked C our remaining weight was 0 and we added the value of C in here. When we did not pick C, our remaining weight was 4 and we did not add the value of C. So now we're going to do a maximum of left and right. My left side gives me total 6 and my right side gives me, by not picking C, I get a total value of 0. So maximum of these two is 6. So this is going to return 6 to the calling function. Also in our map, we're going to update this information. So if the remaining weight is 4, and if I have 2 items remaining, the best I can do is 6. So if my remaining weight is 4, and if I have last 2 items, C and D remaining, the best I can do is 6. So now we come to, uh, come to this level here. So if we picked B, the best we can do is 6 plus the value of B, which is 4, so the best we can do is 10 if we picked B. If we do not pick B, we are left with the same weight as here, so 6, and we are left with items C and D. So now I pick again on the left side, again we pick C. So when I pick C, I'm left with uh, 6 minus 4, so 2 weight and item D. And Two weight of item D is 5 which is greater than 2 so 2 cannot be picked so we cannot do anything here so we return a value 0 plus since we picked C we got a value of 6 so this is on the left side on the right side 
we are not going to pick C, so we will be left with total same weight 6, and then I'm going to be left with item D. And we go on the left side, so uh, D, uh, we subtract the value, since we, now we're going to pick D, we subtract the value of D, so we're left with, from here, we're going to subtract the weight of D from 6, so we're left with 1 and no item. Since no items are left, so this can return 0. And with the value of D, the total on the left side is 9. And on the right side, I'm going to be left with the same weight, but again no item. And this is also going to return me 0. So here we're going to save maximum of left and right. So by picking D, I'm getting a value of 9, and by not picking D, I'm getting a value of 0. So obviously 9 is greater, so we're going to pick 9 and also I'm going to update my map saying that if my remaining weight is 6 and I'm just left with one last item, the best I can do is 9. And then I'm going to update, I'm going to return 9 from here. So by picking C, I got a value of 6 and by not picking C, I got a value of 9. So maximum of 2 is 9, so we are going to return 9 from here. Also I'm going to update my map saying that if my total weight is 6, if my remaining weight is 6, and if I have last two items remaining, the best I can do is 9. So here, we are going to say something like this. And then we come to this point. So now, if we picked B, we got a total value of 10. If we did not pick B, we got a total value of 9. Maximum of 2 is 10, so we're going to return 10 from here. And also I'm going to say that if my total weight is 6, if my total weight is 6 and if I'm left with 3 items, the maximum I can get is 10. So we get return 10 from here and we have picked A, so the maximum I can get by picking A is 10 plus value of a which is 2. So if I picked a the maximum value I can get is 10 plus 2 12. Let's see what happens if we do not pick a. So we come here if we don't pick a we are going to be left with the same weight 8 but three items b, c and d. First thing I do is check have I already stored have I already calculated uh, for this combination and I have not. 8 and 3 I have not. So I've got to go in and do a calculation for this one. So on the left side, we are going to, uh, on the left side, we are going to pick B. So if I pick B, I am left with eight minus uh, six, eight minus two, six weight and items C, D. So six and two items. So this calculation we have already done. If we have total remaining weight six and remaining items two, last two items, the best I can do is nine. So this returns me 9 plus by picking B I get a value of 4, so 13. Let's see what's, what happens on the right side. If we don't pick B, I'm going to be left with weight 8 and I'm going to be left with items uh, C and D. So now we, uh, on the left side again we pick B of uh, C. So if you pick C, I'm going to be left with uh, 8 minus 4, so 4 weight and item D. Weight of D is 5, which is greater than 4, so we're just going to return 0 from here. And plus picking C will give me total value of 6 on the left side. And on the right side, I do not pick uh, C, so I'm going to be left with 8 and item D. And if we picked D on the left side, I'm going to be left with uh, weight 3 and no item. And this is no good, it's going to give me 0 plus weight of a value of D which is 9. So the, if, if I'm left with 8 and uh, pick D, I'll get value 9. And if I don't pick D, I have 8 weight left and no item. And this is going to return me 0. So maximum of 2 is 9, so if I have my weight is 8 and I just have last item left, the best I can do is weight, is best value I can get is 9.
So this returns 9 here. So now we're going to check maximum of 6 or 9 is 9. So if my weight is 8 and if I have 2 items left, the best I can do is 9. Maximum of these two. So we're going to return 9 from here. So at this point of time we're going to check uh, maximum of 13 or 9. So maximum of 13 and 9 is uh, 13. So we're going to return 13 from here. And at this point we're going to check maximum of 12 and 13. So maximum of 12 and 13 is 13. So 13 is the total value you can get by uh, on, on, this, on this example here. And uh, since we moved on the right, we did not pick A. Here we moved on the left, so we picked B. So B is one such item. And from 6 CD, if you go to 6 CD, uh, how did we get value 9? We moved on the right, so we did not pick C. And then we moved on left, so we picked D. So D. So weight of uh, B and D is total 7, which is less than 8. And their value is 4 plus 9, which is this 30. The time complexity for this algorithm is going to be, if we use this memoization, is going to be O of weight. So this total weight W into number of items. So in the next section, let's look at the code for this algorithm. It is top-down recursive. It takes in the values, the weights, and then the total weight allowed. First, we're going to do is initialize this map going from index to integer for memoization purpose. Let's quickly look at the class index. Index class has two items, remaining weights and remaining items, as we discussed. And integer here is the maximum value we can get for this remaining weight and remaining items. Then we'll go into this uh, utility function, top down recursive util, pass it values, weight, total weight, total number of items, the current in the current item being considered, and this map. So we come to this method here. First thing we do in this method is check if the current item being considered is exceeds the total number of items allowed. If it does, or if the remaining weight is less than or equal to zero, then we are just going to return zero. Otherwise, we're going to create this uh, key for our map where keys uh, uh, remaining items is total items minus current item minus one since current item is in the zeroth index. So we have to uh, subtract minus one from the total items. And then remaining weight is the, just that initially will be the total weight. So we form this index uh, key index uh, and then we search in the map that does this index already exist? If it does, then we just get the value of that index, uh, value of that uh, a key in the map and return it to, uh, and this is the memoization part where we do not recalculate the value if it already exists. And then if it does not exist, so basically for current remaining items and remaining weight, we have not already calculated uh, uh, the maximum value possible. So we go in add there and try to calculate the maximum value possible. So we initialize this integer max value. And then uh, if remaining weight is less than the weight of the current item, it means that current item cannot be used. So we are just going to go into the recursion, top down recursive util with the current item plus one and without subtracting anything from the remaining weight. Since we're not considering current item, but we can consider the next item. So we're just going to pass current item plus one and skip the current item altogether. Otherwise, if the remaining weight is greater than or equal to the current weight, then we try to get the max of either picking this item or not picking this item. When, they are, when we are picking this item, we are adding the value of this current item plus whatever value we get back from the recursion and in the recursion, we are going to pass remaining weight minus the weight of the current item. And then current item plus one will be the next item to be considered. This is the value we get when we pick. This is the value we get when we uh, pick, the, uh, uh, pick the item. If we do not pick the item, then we go into the recursion. This time we do not subtract the weight of the current item since we are not picking this item and then current item plus one. So the max of these twos will be my max value 
And then when it comes back from the recursion, I'm going to put this max value into my map with the key which I just generated before uh, for memoization purpose and also return this max value to the calling function. So as you can see, uh, the code is exactly same as the video. So uh, again, the runtime complexity will be a uh, total number of items into the total weight. Uh, so that's all I have to talk about uh, top down zero one knapsack problem. Uh, please like this video, share this video, uh, comment on this video, like my Facebook page, facebook.com to Sharrod25 and check out my GitHub link, github.com mission piece interview wiki. Thanks again for watching this video.